Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another tablescape video. Oh, princess wants to be in all the videos. So today we are doing a Valentine's Day video, which I would say is indicated by the pink, but if y'all have watched any of my videos, you know I do pink for every season because it is my favorite and I love it. Those are the reasons. But obviously Valentine's Day is a perfect, perfect, perfect excuse for even more over the top pink than normal. So I thought today we would whip up a little table with some of my pretty pink things, including my new set, pink depression glasses. So you may not know because I don't show it on camera a lot, but I collect pink depression glass. It doesn't show up on camera as pretty as it is in person, like you can see all that pink. But that's kind of the fun of it, is that on its own it almost looks translucent. But when you get up close, it has this beautiful pattern. It's definitely pink. And I just, I love it. So I have um, cups, you guys have seen glasses, I have pitchers, I have containers, I have boxes, I have the candy dish right over there. I just, I love it. Um, but I've never done a full table with it and I, we're not doing that today. So I think in the future we will try to do a full only depression glass video, but I still don't have dinner plates. So today is not that day. Today we are doing a combination pink and depression glass because I got these for Christmas. So these little rose bowls uh, are for desserts or candies or, or little things. I also have one larger serving bowl. And while they are beautiful in their own right, they are very special to me because they were my great grandmothers. So today we are going to use these and my depression glass and a few other pink things to put together a pretty and pink Valentine's Day table. I'm really excited because I've just kind of pulled together a whole smorgasbord of things that I want to try. Um, I've already put a pink tablecloth on the table instead of a table runner because I thought it might be fun. Let's try it. But um, the problem with pinks, if you've ever done a pink table like I have, is that sometimes too much pink is not a good thing and things get lost in the details. Other colors I like that to an extent, but I find that with pink it really happens. So we are going to try to not pull in entirely pink. That's why I've grabbed these. And my centerpiece is this darker pink that we're going to try to pull out of here. So let's get started. Um, I think we're definitely going to use my pink plates with the pink depression glass because I've tried all my plates so far. They look the best on the pink I think they would look the absolute best on my white French Mikasa, but my mom is borrowing them. So we're just gonna get started. We're gonna put things together and we're gonna kind of play around. So I'm really excited. Thanks, Nana. Wish she was still here, but if I can't have her, these are fun too. All right, so first things first, I think you're going to use these pink Buffalo check chargers because I need something that will look good with the pink, but will break up the pink of the tablecloth. Just a little bit. So this is, these are pink, but they're not all pink. Then we are going to do my pink, not ceramic up blades. day I will have all pink depression glass plates but you know the thing about collecting or at least antiquing to me is that it's a journey and you find some things here and some things there and it can take years to find all the pieces and that is the fun of it that's how I got all of my Havilland blue china it took years to get that whole collection but like the crazy decorating person that I am, I started collecting my Havilland Blue China in high school. 
So I got all those pieces sooner. Because while most people were out partying, I was collecting china. You know what? Makes me happy. All right, so far so good. They look like little flowers. I'm going to go ahead these on top. This is going to be a very like old fashioned table. I kind of like it. All right, we have some pink depression glass water goblins. more depression glass we put on the table, the more the plates will pop. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put our silverware on. Normally I do this last, but I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna use for the centerpiece other than one very specific piece, which will be next, don't worry. So I'm gonna put the silver on so that way I kind of know how much room I'm working with. So I've got my pretty antique pink um, knife rest from Hungary. And then I've got my silver Oneida, I think it's Countess, might be Duchess, I think it's Countess silverware because we're using a silvery kind of centerpiece. So let's go ahead and put these together. Now, I wish these knife rests were pink depression glass. Maybe at some point in my life I will find pink depression glass. Knife rests, but until then, I'll live dark pink ones they, they look good with the pink and the and not as bowls great grandmother it's a wonderful lady who loves china she was sassy nobody could tell her anything really passed away when I was in high school. So I actually had her for quite a while in the, in the grand scheme of things. High school is a long time. Okay, there is a stain on this side that I was trying to cover up that this placement is not quite working with the silverware so I'm gonna see if perhaps the bone dishes won't cover it up. I was thinking about using these. So these I found a few months ago and they are what's called bone dishes you put them to the side of your plates and if you're eating chicken wings or shrimp you put the bones in them i'm not 100 sure that they go with this table but i'm i think they might fight with my great grandma's dishes definitely cover up the stain though so we're gonna try it if at the end it's too much we'll take them off and throw a napkin on the stain. All right so this is my centerpiece I just got it. Mom and I run an antique booth so when I get a lot of new antique stuff it's because we're always looking for antiques. My problem is I really need to implement a one in one out policy and I don't, so I just rack it up. I like that a lot. 
but we need a few more things to tie it in. And I've got a few more depression glass pieces. I'm not 100% sure which ones I'm gonna like. Start by trying this picture and then I've got a few little um, sugar and creamer bowls. Not quite sure why I would need sugar and creamer bowls on this table, but they're pretty. Mom got me this picture for Christmas. Oh, it might be too big. It's pretty though. Do that and then put one on this side and one on that side. I don't know. Let's try a few other things. like that color, honestly. I don't know that I like it with this, though. It's not terrible. Gives it a little juxtaposition, at least. Now the question is, I don't really want to put this on here. I could, but I think that's too similar. Is that, is that weird? Let me look at it from your angle. Okay, so it was taken a minute. So I went off camera, A, because I didn't want y'all to have to watch a million hours, B, because when in doubt, call mom. So called mom, got her opinion, and we decided she liked this on the more scalloped cake plate. She thought it gave it another pop of color and that this still popped, so. We're gonna trust her. I'm still not confident in that decision, but I did go ahead and take everything else out. I decided I wanted to use Nana's bowl because um, I'm probably not going to use Nana's dishes on every single tablescape. So I like using them for Valentine's Day. I wanna use the whole set. So I'm gonna go with Nana's bowl in the middle. I went and got a big serving spoon. You know, we'll put something fancy in there like mac and cheese. And I just turned over a little ramekin underneath because I needed a little pop. So if something's not quite enough dimension, it's sitting too close to the other dishes, that's a quick and easy way to make something a little more dimensional. Just turn over a small bowl of some kind or a small uh, ramekin or a small <coughs> anything like that. And voila, instant pedestal. So from there, <laughs> just adding, my puppies are playing. I wish you could see them. They're so cute. Just adding a few small napkins with a pretty lace detail um, under the salad plates. This will give it another cute little pop of white, especially because with this pink, tablecloth. 
really trying to add white and that dark pink so that everything pops off of it. And that, my friends, is the trick to adding all the pinks in one table or any anything you're designing is you're doing a bunch of monochromatic things, all pink, all blue, all yellow, doesn't really matter. The, the trick is to use as many shades of that color as possible. And when you can, you wanna have two or three things that are the same shade. So like how my depression glass is all the same shade, all of these plates are all the same shade. That helps pull it together while still giving you a lot of differences. Hope you can hear me over the present play. All right, I think we're done. It looks really festive for Valentine's Day. Very fancy and elegant. So I will give you guys a close up look, but really like how it turned out. Hope Nana does too. All right, so here's your first look at the actual place setting. So we have the pretty chargers, the pretty pink plates, got dinner, salad, and dessert. Dessert is that depression glass. The little dishes from Nana and the bone plates. We've got our pretty cups, silverware, knife rests. This is mini courses, probably me preparing the menu, something with shrimp and not mac and cheese, that was a joke. I absolutely love these. You can put salt and pepper and um, oils and vinaigrettes in them. We've got our little pretty sugar and creamer down here. Just, I really love how it turned out. I do still need to take down my nativity, so don't, don't be mad, but it's just so pretty back there. And you know what, Jesus is for all the time, not just for Christmas, so I'm leaving him up. how the depression glass is just an extra touch. I do dream of finding dinner plates for these though so I can do a full full depression glass tablescape. Probably not on a pink tablecloth though. All right, I hope you guys liked this video. I do like to design with y'all, but I don't know if that is a little too boring for y'all going through all the decisions. To me, it helps to see other people's thought processes. So if you liked this video, if you enjoy the tablescape and all of the stories, let me know. If you just wanna see the finished product, then fast forward to right now. Good job, killing it. Bye y'all. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, show your mama. If you have your Nana still with you, give her an extra hug for me. Bye.